This tutorial video is going to show you the steps to create cross sections from a corridor um, and we will create cross sections, sample lines, um, and do cut and fill uh, quantity calcs. Um, in, 20, in Civil 3D 2017 they have made it to where corridors can now be data referenced so that has changed our um, workflow a little bit as you can see there's now an option for corridors in your data reference column um, so I have already created a, a corridor and I've created a data reference of this stream relocation that we're doing and I'm going to show you the steps to create cross sections sample lines sample lines first then cross sections and then we're going to compute the materials and get the cut fill for each of those so I'm going to go to my cross-section drawing. So you have a separate cross-section drawing where you have an alignment data referenced in, your existing surface, your proposed surface, and then your proposed corridor. Um, so after you have all that data referenced into this drawing, then you're going to go to your Home tab, click on Sample Lines to create your sample lines. It's going to ask you which alignment you want to do. You do whichever one. This one is Line A. This asks what is going to be sampled in your um, your sample lines, and you want to make sure that your proposed grade is actually the right style, existing ground for existing ground, and so on. Um, so after all that is picked, you'll just hit OK. And it's going to have this little red line that's asking where you want to do your sample lines. But in this box, you pull down, go to by range of stations, and then it's asking you, it shows you that you're doing line A. And do you want to do start to end um, your left width, which would be this way, and then your right width, which would be this way? I pick 70 because we have pretty wide need here. Um, your sample line, sampling increments is how often do you want to sample? I've got mine set to 50 feet and that's pretty standard and I do one at the start and not one at the end because the end is usually outside of my surface and that throws off the cross sections so after you select all those and you can kind of go through and make sure things like you want it you hit OK that red line is still up if you need to do an additional um, sample line uh, you can to get your storm structures to show, you can do one there, specifically at those if you want. I'm just going to leave mine as standard, hit enter, and so now I have my sample lines created. From there, you go back to the, the home tab, you create section views, click section views, create multiple views. It's going to pull up a wizard that you kind of set your standard stuff, uh, which line alignment you're doing, which sample line group you're on, your styles, the names, etc. Um, the next thing you're going to look at is your how you're going to plot those cross sections. Um, I use this production and you have to set up a template so that it works correctly. I have that template open so after we run this I'll show you how it works. Um, if you use this production, you can then use the output. There's an output button up here, and it'll create all of your cross section sheets for you with the viewports in the correct stations. Um, it's very, very time efficient, and it works great. It saves you a lot of time creating your cross section plot sheets. Um, next thing is your offset, which we're going to leave at 70. Elevation, we put a 20 foot cross section, pretty standard. And then you're going to follow the mean of the all of the sections, the existing and the proposed. Um, I leave these at no labels, but if you need labels and have things set up, you can set those here. The data bands, this is a tricky one. You have to make sure you go to top and then pick existing grade for the first one and your proposed grade will be your second one. From there, hit create section views. It's gonna ask you where you want to place them. Once you create that, it put your set sections kind of in sequential order. You'll see this box here, which is what is going to be used for the viewports. So you want to 
do a select similar on those and move them into a good location to where the viewport will be equally dis distributed as far as your se sections are concerned. So I just kind of eyeball it, make it look pretty good. And it'll all differ if you have, you know, bigger sections and things, but that's how these came out. So from there, you have your sections created, and then you, your, your viewport is put in the right place. You'll go to the output tab. There's a button that says create section sheets. It creates layouts in your in your drawing. As you can see, note all layouts will go into the current drawing. Um, here's what the layouts will be called for cross sections. I go XS and then the name of the alignment. And I bring it back to the carrot just so that there's not extra stuff in there I don't need. That is going to do a count on each tab in the drawing. Here's where you can set what number you're starting on and what number style you start with. Um, I, after you set those, you hit OK. Um, I'm going to add to this sheet set that I have already kind of been using for this uh, tutorial. It's going to take a second. It finds it. Hit open. So it's going to place all of these um, layouts that I create into a sheet set. Now, if you already have one that you're using for the project, you can just add them to that one. So after that, after everything is checked, you hit Create Sheets, and it says you're going to maybe save. It'll take a second to save, and then as you can see down the bottom of my screen, it created tabs. Those tabs have viewports that are set up with from the bottom to the top each of my um, each of my cross sections. It's a great way to um, create your sheets. Um, it goes all the way to the end and then the last one you can see there's not any the last couple there's not any so you would just remove those sample lines and then everything would readjust. Um, so that is a quick and easy way to create your sheets cross-section sheets without having to move viewports and readjust things. Um, back into our model tab, I'm going to show you how to sample. You're going to want. So after you have cross-sections on this project specifically, we're going to need to know how much cut and fill we're going to have. So you come up to your Analyze tab, Compute Materials, it's going to take a second ask me which sample line group you want to use so go there this box is asking which is the existing and which is the proposed so pretty obvious pick your proposed and your existing nothing is needed here for the cut and fill quantity so you hit OK and OK and as you can see it put in a hatch in between my surfaces for the cut and the fill and that's that's nice, but you want to know you want to know how much those quantities are actually going to be. So if you click on a, a section and up in View Group Properties, pull this box over, and it's the Volume Change Volume Tables tab that you're looking for. If you click on that. It's going to think for a second and pull up another window. There it goes. So we're doing total volume, we have a cut and a fill, table style, we're going to add that and all that's good, you want it to be in the bottom center, I'm sorry, bottom, yeah, bottom center on both of these columns and it shows you over here where it puts that table and you say OK and it'll create a table inside of that that gives you the cut and fill quantities for each of those sections and one side of this shows for each section and then the next column shows a cumulative down the line so it is a very quick 
way to get your cut and fill onto the cross sections. Um, that is the nuts and bolts of creating cross section sheets. So now, just in a short amount of time, you've created your sample lines, you've created your cross sections, and you've created cut and fill quantities. So I think that is everything you would need to get that into a project. You have to make sure that you go to your Analyze tab and Compute Materials and that sort of thing before it will work. But if you follow these steps, it will work for you.